Hello. I am going to tell you about African American theater in the late 1800s and the early 1900s. Um, with the late 1800s, the 1890s, they were called the Gay 90s, which in this time meant just happy, like light-hearted 90s. But this was also the time during the court where in the court case Plessy versus Ferguson happened, which created the whole, um, which made the Jim Crow laws a thing, which was um, the idea of uh, race being separate but equal, which created you know a separate schooling system, separate water fountains, all that stuff. Um, which had the civil rights movement move against it. However, <clears throat> during this time, it was a very difficult time, and African-American theater, there were a lot of uh, actors who p would play stuff like Ragtime, which, uh, like, Ragtime became very big, which Ragtime, like classic music came came from like saloons and whorehouses and were incorporated into musicals also the uh, the rise of film the growing prices of tickets for theater and just the culture of the time and the fact that a lot of theater at that time was starting to run out of ideas gave way to a new style of theater. The old kind of just very song based kind of gave way to a style of theater that had more plot to it and was a bit more like the, like the musicals we've seen later on.